We started doing the entire alumni weekend um, a few years ago and uh, we put Spring Fling uh, on graduation weekend in May so um, Spring Fling is our CME that the Alumni Association does um, and it's 16 1A credit uh, for our physicians to you know, get their credits to recertify um, and then we, we do that Friday and Saturday and then Sunday we do golf tournament um, and we've been doing it out at Hard Rock Casino so it's been a lot of fun and uh, a lot of a lot of alumni like to like to play out there. Um, along with that is graduation. So graduation's Friday night. Um, we do senior breakfast Wednesday morning. <clears throat> so we have um, just a lot of activities going on at one time. And that weekend is. Um, it's our biggest fundraising weekend, you know, I mean, we, we don't ask for money as an association. Um, we're merely friend raisers. We do reunions and stuff quite a bit too, uh, for any class that, you know, that wants to do a reunion, um, mainly 10 year and 30 year. So, um, and we usually try and do those mm, around November. Um, we have a, uh, the college does a, a family medicine see me in November and so we thought well let's you know tie it in with that and come back in and get some more credit and, um, and we can do their reunion you know at that time so um, it's worked out pretty well. Spring Fling is our um, continuing medical education conference that we do. Um, our physicians have to recertify um, every two to three years depending on their specialty. They have to have so many credits from the uh, American Osteopathic Association. Ours is a 16 1A credit um, and 1A is the, the ones that they need the most, you know. And so uh, we're able to provide that for them. And, um, and, and it really brings a lot of them back together, you know, and um, a lot of them really look at it as, you know, a time to come and get their credits and, and, and learn more about, you know, uh, all the new updates and everything going on in their specific field. And also a chance to get together with fellow classmates, you know, and kind of come back together and, and go back to their alma mater and, you know, see a bunch of people and listen to um, speakers from maybe some of their fellow classmates or, or physicians that they know. You know, we try and get our alumni to be the presenters too. Um, and so um, that really kind of ties it all back into OSU and OCOMS and, and all that. We've done the golf tournament um, for years actually and uh, it's mainly just a fundraiser for OSU Com Alumni Association um, and it's fun to get everyone back together um, and and get them out there um, hanging out together um, a lot of them come in as, as teams and you know really uh, want to try and win the tournament and all that and then some guys just come out just to play and have fun you know um, we bring Pete out every year. Uh, we have Eddie Sutton come out, um, and uh, so yeah, it's a it's a fun weekend. Uh, the OSU Com Alumni Association. We do um, around forty thousand dollars worth of scholarships every year for um, incoming students and, um, and students that are already in. So, um, so a lot of the proceeds uh, uh, go towards that. So we also do, um, usually right after the beginning of the year, we'll do usually about a $5,000 grant to Student Senate. And Student Senate will use that money to kind of divvy it up amongst all the different clubs and um, help them do some events and, and support them too. So um, we give a lot back to the college and we give a lot back to the students especially. So um, 
we want to be there for them um, right from day one. You know, we we do our um, we do uh, br uh, usually a breakfast or a lunch during orientation week and uh, explain who we are, what we do, and how uh, involved we are. You know, throughout their whole process. And you know, I'm not just a guy standing there at graduation going, hey, you made it, congratulations, you know, welcome to the Alumni Association. We're there from day one and um, we really help the students and uh, we'll pair the students up with alumni for mentorships and stuff like that. And uh, I can help the students when they're looking at possible rotations, um, you know, kind of give them ideas and who did what rotation and you know if they liked it or not and even going into residencies you know I can hook them up with you know different alumni that have gone through these residency programs that can say hey you know that was a great program you need to go through it and you know all that so um, there's a lot of interaction with uh, our alumni and with the with the students and with our association, you know, kind of helping gel all that together, so.